Hello, class of 2023. This is Mrs. Wood, your school counselor, working alongside your class principal, Mrs. Sheehan. Registration for next year is about to begin, and we hope that the following explanation answers some of your questions about course selections. We look forward to a smooth and thorough process that leaves you excited and confident about your junior year. So let's talk about what the registration process is going to look like. On Monday, January 25th, registration sheets will be passed out to students during study hall. Students without a study hall will go to the BPAC on Tuesday the 26th during 5A and pick up their registration sheet there. We have set aside this time for a Q&A session and all rising juniors are invited to attend. Students who are enrolled in the online learning program will Zoom from 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock. Then at 6 p.m., we will host our spring POGS meeting to give parents an opportunity to ask questions as well. On Monday, February 1st, you will have conversations with your teachers concerning course recommendations for next year. Teachers will initial their recommendation on each registration sheet. Then students are expected to have conversations at home about what courses are preferred and appropriate. Students then have one week to enter course requests in Skyward by way of these instructions. It is recommended that you use a computer to complete your course requests. Course requests are not available in the Skyward mobile app. To begin selecting courses, students will log into their Skyward Student Access accounts. Course requests cannot be made using a Parent Family Access account. Once you are logged in, choose Schedule from the left-hand menu. Next, locate Course Requests Now Open on the right-hand side and choose the link for Request Courses. You will now be on the Course Requests page. On the left side, you will see Available Courses, and on the right side, you will see Selected Courses. You will also see a search box at the bottom of the page. Use the search box to locate a course. For example, enter ENG into the search box to see all of the English courses that are available. Once you locate the course that you need, select that course by clicking on it then choose the Add Course button located between the two columns. Your chosen course will now be listed in the Selected Courses area. Please note that the F and S that you will see beside the course names stand for Fall and Spring. For year-long courses, make sure that both classes are showing in the Selected Courses box. If you accidentally add a course you don't want, Highlight it in the Selected Courses column and choose Remove Course. Continue this process until all courses appear in the Selected Courses column. If your school has enabled course alternate requests, you can utilize that feature by choosing the link for View Alternates near the top of the page. Verify that the number of scheduled courses and credits Meet the guidelines provided by your administrator. Here is a cheat sheet that should help you find some of your courses. You can typically search for the first two or three letters of a course to find what you are looking for. Once course requests are entered and the registration form is complete with initials and signatures, students will submit it to their first period teacher on Monday, February 8th. The next stage of the process will last through March as I meet with each member of the class via Zoom. The Sign Up Genius is ready for you to choose a date and time. You may bring your Chromebook to my office and Zoom from there. Parents and guardians are welcome to participate in these calls and can join us from their locations. These meetings will be scheduled in 15-minute intervals. Another family will be waiting in the Zoom room to begin their call, so please be punctual and respectful of the 15-minute time limit. I look forward to these conversations and ask that you come prepared with the following. A completed signed registration form already submitted, a minimum of six classes entered into Skyward, and a list of three good fit careers from your U Science results. This is a sample four-year plan that we penciled in prior to your enrollment at Brentwood High School. 
It is a guide that gives you an idea what your four years will look like. The counselor and student meet every year to schedule courses for the following year to make sure that each student is on track to graduate with at least the minimum state requirements. We individualize these plans to best serve the needs of each student. Now we will take a look at course requirements and highlight what is different about the junior year compared to ninth and 10th grades. There will still be eight class periods with four prior to lunch and enrichment and three after. All students are required to take English. Next year, it is offered in three levels and your current English teacher will recommend you for the class they consider is your best fit. In addition, there are several English electives that may interest you. These are printed on the back of the registration sheet. All students are required to take math. You will continue with the same sequence. For example, if you are currently enrolled in geometry, you will take Algebra 2. Algebra 2 students will register for pre-calculus and so on. At least three years of science are required for graduation, biology, chemistry or physics, and an additional lab science. There are a number of placement criteria we use for upper level science classes, and we can discuss those during our Zoom meeting. Like science, at least three years of social studies are required for graduation. All juniors take U.S. history, and like English, it is offered in three levels. We consider English, math, science, and social studies core academic classes. Additional credits for graduation include foreign language, two full year credits in the same language, a full year of lifetime wellness, plus another semester of PE, such as PE2 or weights. If you participate in a school sport, in most cases, a form authorized by your coach will waive the one semester requirement. All students are required to take a full year of a fine art class. A complete listing of courses can be found on the back of your blue registration sheet. Finally, all students are required to take a semester of personal finance. As we zoom to prepare for junior year, we will emphasize the completion of all four of these additional graduation requirements. All students must satisfy three credits in a specific focus area. Focus areas are unique to each high school in Williamson County, and Brentwood High School offers seven. Humanities and Fine Arts, TV and Film Production, Coding, Business Management, Entrepreneurship, STEM, and AP. If your U-Science results show a propensity for marketing or being an entrepreneur, you likely received a letter from our central office inviting you to explore the Entrepreneurship and Innovation Center, or EIC. If this is of interest to you, we can discuss this unique opportunity in more detail when we meet. Let's take a look at course levels and what you should consider moving into your junior year in terms of deciding which level of classes to take. Teacher recommendations. Your teachers observe you in the classroom and experience firsthand what type of learner you are. Their recommendations assure that you are appropriately placed in classes where you will experience the most success. If you have a question or concern about a recommendation, please contact that teacher for clarification. Youth science results help guide you towards subjects and ultimately careers that best fit your interests and abilities. We generally find that we are interested in those things that we do best and we recommend those advanced level subjects. Other subjects are simply graduation requirements and can be taken at the standard level. Your previous grades are a good indicator of future success. If you desire more advanced classes, first show us that you are willing to do the work. Standardized test results provide data that also help with class placement. If your student has taken the PSAT, ACT, or other standardized test, we consider those scores when considering course levels. We look at organizational skills and the ability to meet deadlines. Teachers assign work far in advance and students are expected to plan accordingly so they can meet those deadlines. Please consider how busy your student is after school. We are constantly seeking balance so that our students are happy, healthy, and involved. There are many online classes offered to juniors which open up possibilities to create a unique schedule. Some are one semester and some are full year. 
When you go to the BPAC on Tuesday, you will receive a handout with more information about online courses. Dual enrollment is an opportunity provided by Columbia State Community College for juniors and seniors to take a college course as a high school student. It is a great way to earn college credit. Through the dual enrollment grant, students are awarded two free courses. If you are interested in learning more about dual enrollment and how to apply, there is a packet in the counseling office with more information. Or follow this link to explore Columbia State's dual enrollment website and application process. It's your junior year, so here are upcoming ACT dates. The ACT math section covers content through Algebra 2, so if you are currently enrolled in that class, April or June would be a good time to test. April, June, and December test dates offer the option to order a test information release, or TIR. That's where you will receive a copy of the multiple choice test questions used to determine your score, a list of your answers, and the answer key. This is a great tool to use to study for subsequent exams. At checkout, you can add TIR to your cart for an additional $22. Please note that you cannot expect to receive the TIR service in time to study for the next test date. Many students ask, what is the difference between standard, honors, dual credit, and AP classes? In general, the course content is the same. However, honors and AP classes explore the content in greater depth and detail. Williamson County awards three, four, and five extra points for honors dual credit and AP classes respectively. In order to earn the five extra points for AP classes, the student must sit for the AP exam second semester. These additional points are added at the end of the grading period, regardless of the grading scale. For example, if a student finishes an honors class with an 88, three points added turns a B into an A on the Williamson County grading scale. Please note, however, that even with three extra points, a 91 is considered a B on the HOPE Scholarship grading scale. To clarify, every transcript shows two grading scales. The HOPE Scholarship scale was created because not all high schools in the state of Tennessee offer classes at the honors level and above. This grading scale provides for a level playing field for all Tennessee graduates. There is a tendency to take higher level classes with the idea that it boosts the GPA. A word of caution and an example explains it best. Take a look at the Williamson County grading scale and notice a B in an honors class calculates three and a half points into the cumulative GPA, while an A in a standard class calculates four points. All this to say, it is best to take courses at a higher level in subjects that interest you. And those that are not your favorite, consider taking standards so that you can spend more of your day studying most of what you really enjoy. Keep in mind, the high school experience is more than academics. Athletics, music and arts, involvement in clubs, leadership, volunteer service work, religious activities, quality time spent with friends and family. All these things contribute to the social and emotional development and maturity of the adolescent. We encourage you to balance your time so that not all of it is spent studying outside of the school day. Please take some time and think about your courses. Look at your U Science results. Talk to your parents. Prepare as much as you can prior to our Zoom meeting because 15 minutes will go by quickly. The Sign Up Genius is live, so choose a slot and I will see you soon.